In this video lecture, I will explain you complete designing of G Plus 6 irregular building structural model by using ETAP software. So firstly, I will show you the model which is comes under the irregular structural model. Then after that, I will show you how to design that particular structure which is of irregular building by using CSA detailing version software. So click on the ETAP software here. Now we can see here this is the building model. So for this respected building model, I was considered a G plus 6 story building structural model. So for this structure, I was taking the upgrade of the concrete is M30 grade and grade of the steel is 500 grade. Again in the same process, I was taking the frame sections which is having uh, dimensions of the beam is approximately 0 0.35 cross 0 0.23 and column is 0 0.46 cross 0 0.23. In the same process, I was taking the thickness of the slab is approximately approximately equal to 150 mm. Okay, go to click on the section property slab section. So here you can see 150 mm. Okay. So after that we need to uh, apply the load cases. For this building I was taking the loads which is comes under the uh, dead load, live load, earthquake load, wind load in condition system. So after applying all the load cases we need to analyze the structure. So go to analyze option here. Click on uh, set load cases to run on the top. So click on the run now option here. So that it will do the analysis process with the considerations of both gravity loading condition systems as well as the lateral loading condition system for the irregular building model. The model was done with complete analysis process. Then after that it will show you the deflection diagram. Okay. Now you can see here it is showing the deflection diagram for the respected irregular structural model. Now we can see it is showing the deflection diagram for the G plus 7, G plus 6 uh, irregular building model by using ETAP software here. In order to see the shear force diagram, bending moment diagram, click on display option on the top, select forces option, select frame forces, select shear to toe option, click on apply. So that it will display the shear force diagram for the building structure with the consideration. Again, I am selecting moment 3 3 option, click on apply. So that it will display the bending moment diagram for the building consideration. In the same process, you can click on the torsion option. Click on apply so that it will display the torsion diagram for the building structure under consideration. So after analysis process completed, we need to design the structure. So for that, we need to add the strip condition system for the slab. So for simple understanding, just I am adding only the two slab condition system for the strip section, which is in A direction as well as the B direction for the strip layer A and X direction as well as B Y direction condition system. For that, we need to click on the edit option here. Select to add edit grid strips on this. Before that, we need to unlock the model. Just I am unlocking the model here. Click on OK. So click on edit option here on the top. Click on edit option. Select here. Select add edit grid strip. Add grid strip which is of 8th story x direction with A. Click on apply. So that it will apply the grid direction system for the x direction. In the same process we need to apply the grid sections which is in y direction condition system. I am selecting the story number 8 which is of y direction condition system with the strip layer is y. Okay. So here I am selecting the uh, grid direction will be comes under the Y direction condition system. Again in the same process it will be consisting of the strip layer is B. Click on apply option. So that it will apply the grid section for the 8th story. In the same process we have to apply the strip condition system for the remaining stories. This time selecting the story number which is of second one. Let us tick X and this is A. Click on apply option. So that it will apply the strip condition system for the second story in X direction. In the same process, we have to apply the strip condition system for the y direction condition also. I am selecting the direction will be of B. Click on apply so that it will apply the strip condition system for the y direction condition system. Then after that, we need to click on OK option. Now we have to uh, design the beam section, column section, slab section. For that, we need to go to the analysis option again. Again, we have to do the run analysis option with the considerations of the strips for the building structure. Go to analyze option here. Again, click on the set load cases to run option here. Select run now option for the selected load cases so that it will do the analysis process with the considerations of the load cases. Then after that, we need to design the beam sections, column sections as well as the slab section according to Indian standard system IS456 2000 codal provision standard system. Now we have to do the designing process. Go to click on design, concrete frame design, select view revisor preferences, select as per IS456 2000, click on OK. Again in the same process we have to click on design, concrete frame design, select start designing check for the respected option so that it will start designing check for the beam sections, column sections uh, for the irregular building structural model. Now you can see it is checking for the beams in the same process it will check for the respected vertical members which is of uh, column and sections. It was done with all the beam design section. Now we have to design the slab, go to click on this option, 
select view revised preferences select is 456 2000 click on ok now in the same process we have to select the stories this time selecting the stories which is of eighth number as well as the second number click on ok option here select this slab designing section this time selecting here click on start designing check so that it will start designing check for the respective slab according to is 456 2000 codal provision standard system now you can see after designing process completed the pressure diagram which is of slab section is showing here like this for the second slab as well as the eighth slab now we have to save this model control s option so that it will save the model for the building consideration now we have to close the etap software now we have to open a csi detailing version software which is of 18 version in this 18 version software we can do the detailing process according to our consideration okay now we have to import the model from the uh, CSI uh, ETAP software to CSI detailing click on new detailing option select the desktop which is of uh, irregular shape this time selecting so that the model will be initially open in ETAP software then after that it will be directly imported to CSI detailing version software here the model is importing the data which is of uh, beam sections column sections as well as the frame sections and cell sections according to the consideration now you can see the beam importing process is done for the respected consideration so now we have to design the beam sections column section before that we need to select the units option here select the units will be in si system according to the consideration and select the force will be in kilonewton and uh, rebar will be in ton option click on ok select the preferences here select the standard preferences as per is 456-2000 click on ok select the rebar rules option so you can click on this option select the minimum spacing option will be comes under 120 and maximum will be of approximately 450 and select the beam so you can pick this respected value will be of 120 this value will be of 120 uh, let us consider this will be of 120 again i am selecting here which is consisting of 450 value here again i am selecting this value will be of 450 this is also 450 in the same process i am selecting the column this time selecting this minimum spacing will be of 120 option and maximum spacing will be a 450 option let us consider click on ok option now we have to click on ok option so that it will start designing check for the respected beam sections column sections as well as the slab section according to the consideration okay now you can see here it was done with the designing process and detailing process this is the floor plan this is the rebar plan this is the top rebar plan again this is the bottom rebar plan Again, you can click on the all rebar plan option for the consideration. In the same process, you can click on any one of the rebar KG option for the story memory 8 or second so that it will load the complete reinforcement de design results according to the considerations of the slab. Okay. So now we can see it was done with the designing process here like this. Now I am selecting the beam detailing option, concrete beams, elevation section, select any one of the floor. I am selecting one single beam, A section so that it will display the uh, reinforcement value for the particular beam section okay again i'm selecting rebar kg option so that it will display the complete dis designing process of the beam section in the same process i'm selecting the column section select the column detailing select the elevation any one of the column you can pick just i'm selecting a number now you can see this is a a number column reinforcement design results for the particular column you can click on the rebar kg option so that it will load the complete rebar kg for the particular column consideration according to uh, CC4 section. Now you can see this is the reinforcement value which is exist in this particular column section. So this is the complete process of analysis and designing of uh, G plus 6 irregular building structural model by using ETAP software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.